This is how to create a newsletter in Microsoft Word 2010. First, we're going to open up a blank Word document. Then at the top, we're going to go to Page Layout and check our settings. So the first thing we're going to look at are our margins. I'm going to keep mine at one inch all the way around. We can change our orientation to portrait or landscape. Since I'm doing a newsletter, I'm going to keep it at portrait. Now we get to add our heading. So at the top of the page, you can either add text or word art. I'm going to choose word art. So I'm going to go up to insert word art on the ribbon and click. This brings down a drop down menu and you can pick any style that you want. I'm going to click on the purple A. This brings up a text box. It's already highlighted so all you have to do is type. My heading is going to be newsletter. Now what I'm going to do is align my text. So on the drawing tools format ribbon I'm going to click align text top and then I'm going to change the position to with text wrapping and I'm just going to do the top left. Now to drag this in the middle you can roll your cursor over the box with the dashed lines, click and drag where you want it to go. Now I'm going to click off the side and it'll put that box away, it'll disappear and now I have my cursor ready I'm going to hit enter. Now I'm going to make some columns so first I've got to go to the page layout ribbon and click on breaks. This makes a break in your page. Right now we want to click on continuous. To make your columns you're going to click on the column button. There's a drop down menu and you can pick one, two, three, four. You can click on more columns to do a custom. I'm going to click on two. Now you can see on my rulers I have two columns. Here's one there and then one on the right. I'm going to add some information and you can tell that when I keep typing, it doesn't go to the other side. It will automatically return for me. So if I just do jumble of words, you can see that it's just jumping. Now to move our cursor over to the second column, we're going to click on breaks again and column. Now you can see our cursor jump to the other side. On this side, we're going to insert a picture. So up at the top, click on the Insert tab, and then in the ribbon, there is a picture icon. Click on it, and another window will open up. Now you may have other pictures on here, but I'm just sticking with the sample pictures that come on the computer. I'm going to choose the penguins and Insert. Now the picture is kind of getting cut off, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on it, and then I'm going to change the wrap. It's up here at the top. I want to change it to square. And if you want to, you can drag your picture so that it's not being cut off. Now we're going to add some information to the picture. My cursor jumped over to the first column, so what I'm going to do again is go to Page Layout breaks, column, that brings it back over here. And I'm going to add some information. Now you can see my text is wrapping around the box in a square. That's exactly what we wanted it to do. Alright, so there you have it. This is how to make a newsletter in Microsoft Word.